you are not going to die forever. When you return to your normal eating partner, pattern, it will be so cheap. But if you start starving, if you have nothing to do with your life and time, this is okay. Hello, I'm Olya, the kind nutritionist. I want to ask you to count calories and will let you eat your favorite foods. How is that? If you like it, subscribe to my channel and let's be healthy together. In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 nutrition facts that will make your diet healthier and help you avoid most common mistakes in this area. Let's begin. A nutrition fact number one is bio and organic is not just marketing. Yes, opinions differ on this matter and uh, I think it's not good to be fanatical and either prefer and buy everything bio, organic and spend a lot of money on that or buy just conventional foods thinking that organic foods are just scam. Well, if you can afford shopping organic, please do it because these foods are definitely better. They're not perfect, but better. Farmers use less pesticides when growing their vegetables and anything else. It's more ethical in terms of animal food production because farmers treat animals much better, eat them, eat grass and walk in the fields, which is good. Also, it's forbidden to use antibiotics at organic farms. And in general, the taste of organic foods, either it is vegetables or fruits or animal products, the taste is much richer. I tried it myself and I saw the difference. Personally, what I do, I purchase organic animal products. I don't eat much of them, so it's not that costly for me. I buy normal conventional vegetables and fruits. I'm okay with that. I don't think that GMO is terrible and will kill us. It's not true. <laughs> so just keep it balanced and you will be fine. A nutrition fact number two is that eating healthy doesn't have to be expensive. Here I want to refer to the point number one about bio and organic foods. Of course, it's better to buy those, but if you cannot afford it to, on a daily basis, please buy normal vegetables, normal fruits, grains, beans, so many healthy foods that don't cost much, especially grains or beans. If you don't buy them cooked or prepared, canned, for example, and you buy them in packages in a dry form and cook them yourself, which is not hard, believe me, it will be so cheap and you don't have to buy exotic fruits or trendy superfoods. Just buy broccoli, for example. But, well, broccoli is kind of pricey now. <laughs> Another tip here is to buy seasonal fruits and vegetables. It will be much cheaper than buying something not seasonal. Also, please try to avoid spending tons of money on healthy food restaurants or some uh, healthy food delivery in boxes, you know, where you can order breakfast, lunch and dinner, probably some snacks every day in those <laughs> boxes. It's a good option if you don't have time and have lots of money, of course, that's great, congratulations! But most of us cannot afford it on a daily basis. So the conclusion is just buy more vegetables, fruits, grains, beans, some animal products and you will be just fine. Nutrition fact number three is that if you want to eat healthy, most likely you will have to learn how to cook. Or wait, if you have someone in your family who will cook for you, it would be great. But the reality is not like that in most cases. So you will have to gain the basic cooking skills. And trust me, it's not that hard and it's not as time consuming as you think. Number four, lean body doesn't equal healthy body. When we see overweight people, obviously they are not healthy. But when we see skinny, beautifully looking people, we can think, oh, they might be healthy, dieting, doing sports. Maybe. But if you want to lose some weight, you have to do it wisely. No starvation, please. And now I will explain you why eating more means getting healthier and losing weight. When you eat the right foods, especially protein, you gain more muscle mass. And when you have more muscles, you burn more calories. And this is what you want, right? But if you start starving, when you reduce your calorie intake drastically 
and then you start eating normally at some point, right? <laughs> you are not going to diet forever. But when you return to your normal eating pattern, your body is likely to start storing the energy you get from food into your fat storage. Do you want that? I don't think so. Nutrition fact number five. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Counting calories is not healthy, neither physically or mentally. I did it myself and I will tell you about my experience in my next videos. But for now, I want to say that there are three situations where I think counting calories is appropriate. If you are just starting your healthy journey and you don't know how much to eat, uh, what portions are, and you're just trying it out, this is okay. If you are a professional athlete, this is okay. And if you have nothing to do with your life and time, this is okay. In other cases, it is not. On this channel, I'm going to teach you the best approach how to measure portions and stay healthy without those unnecessary time-consuming calculations. Number six, sugar can be beneficial too. How shocking is that? Unfortunately, it doesn't regard us, the average people. But if we talk about professional athletes, in particular those who are involved in endurance sports, for example, marathon runners, they really need it. Imagine such sports events as marathons that last for hours and runners need energy as fast as possible. Simple carbs, for example, sports drinks, will help them replenish their energy very fast and very effectively. And by the way, there are no blood sugar spikes when you take such simple carbs during the exercise. Number seven, you need protein not only to build muscles. Most of us know that amino acids are the building blocks of proteins and each of them has its own function. And those functions are not limited to building like a bodybuilder's muscles. We will talk about those functions of each amino acid in my next videos, but for now I just want to let you know that eating enough of protein is essential for strong health and it doesn't matter if you exercise or not. Of course, if you do some sports and you are physically active, you will need more protein. But even if you do nothing in terms of physical activity, you still need to eat enough of it, not to become deficient and stay healthy. Number eight, carbs are crucial in our diet. Carbohydrates are the main source of energy for human beings and they're highly important for our brain function. So when some dieters exclude the whole macronutrient group, be it carbohydrates or anything else, fats, for example, can you call it balanced? A balanced diet? I don't think so. And it's kind of risky to do such a thing for your own health. No one claims it's healthy to eat sugars or simple carbs, but still you can have some of them in your diet. Your main focus should be on complex carbohydrates. And believe me or not, eating brown rice or whole wheat pasta doesn't lead you to excess fat on your waist. So please keep all macronutrient groups in your diet to stay healthy. One little comment here. If you have many kilos of excess fat and you have to lose weight quite fast for health reasons, you can do it by limiting the carb intake. That's true, this approach works and you can see so many people on low carb diet, but staying on such limiting diets long term is not good. Number nine, fats are crucial for our diet too. Just like carbohydrates, fats won't make you fat. If you keep a balanced diet, exercise regularly and do not overeat, your weight will be fine. Of course, there are some medical conditions like hormonal imbalances, which you cannot control just like that, but it's another story. For most people, these three points work pretty well. Fats are an extremely important part of our cell membranes. Also, it's needed in hormonal production, absorption of fat-soluble vitamins and other functions. So if you decide to stop eating fats or limit them drastically, I think it won't make you any good. I want to add two little things, little but still very important, 
about fats. You have to limit your daily intake of saturated fats to 10% of all daily calories and also you will have to avoid trans fats as much as possible. And the last one, nutrition fact number 10 is there is no one best diet that will suit everyone. We are all humans, but each of us is unique. We all have different body types, different genetics, metabolism rate. This is how fast you digest food. Also the climate and region where you live. All of these and many other different factors play a role in what diet will suit you best. So my piece of advice for you will be that you will have to listen to your body and over time you will develop your own best diet. I know it's hard with all that information online you can read about best diets. Some people claim that keto diet is the best. Another sector says that plant-based is the only option to stay healthy. It is very hard and I've been there myself. Well, I'm still there. There are so many researches which are contradictory and you don't know what to do yourself. But I think the best approach is what I just said. Listen to your body. It is the first thing you have to do. And over time you will develop your own diet which will work best for you. If you are just starting your healthy journey and you feel like you don't know the basics, you have two options. You could browse the internet for months or even years to gain that knowledge and use it in practice, see what works, what doesn't. Or you could find the specialist, the nutritionist, who could help you with that. It could be me or it could be someone else. You decide. I'll be happy to help you to improve your diet and your overall health. Otherwise, on this channel I'm going to post many useful informative videos for you which are absolutely free. If you like this video make sure to give me thumbs up for creating it and please don't forget to be kind to yourself. See you in the next video.